starting a baseball camp. Excited? Yes. This is it. The pit, the catcher runs out in the middle. Right, and the game be on the team. Then you're gonna just take and stay with your kids to each station. Okay. Four group beers for the younger kids. He's doing there, Bry. Coach Brian. You guys ready back there? Yeah. me. This is the rest area for those on a break. Right, Ant? How's it going? Good. Taking a break from the station. Hey, Dwayne. <laughs> and I'm going to leave this chapel, but I want to invite you uh, to come and just stay here and listen. I want to tell you a story about my life, about God, what God's done in my life. So listen up. There was this guy in 
God gave him a talent. A talent of balance. How many people have heard of a tightrope walker? Has anybody actually seen a tightrope walker? A guy walking? I've actually never seen it, but... National Sisters Week and Anthony. <laughs> what is that? Kiwi strawberry juice. Ah, what's that? Mango. And we have aloe to drink. What do you think? Aloe juice. It's lumpy. It's lumpy. Here are our cooks. Thanks so much. Thank you. It tastes a little bit like, like cough syrup. Like, you take it, Is this the same thing in there? Well, today I met Charlie and John, and they are the two gentlemen that kind of oversee the 64th, um, 68, 68 precinct. Oh, whatever. Sorry, precinct. Say? Whatever you want. See, it's not that easy, is it? So today I was doing the chapel for the baseball clinic and I was telling the gospel about Jesus Christ who died for our sins and that he rose again and there was a little boy named Giovanni and Gio was sitting right in front of me and as I was talking about Jesus and after I said and Jesus died for our sins he goes and he came back and he came back and he was interrupting but it was so it was so good like to hear him say that and I was just like you're right Gio he did come back and that's the gospel I enjoyed the day on the first day of clinics helping out in the, the hitting section with kids such as Juan, Jason, and Tyler helping improve their swing become better baseball players so after the baseball clinic today we came back to the church here and uh, we had helped out at their um, pretty much a summer day camp so I found one kid and he looked really sad and alone. So I asked him what was wrong and he just kind of shook his head and someone told me that he only spoke Spanish. So I got to have a, a complete Spanish conversation with him, asked him what was wrong and just help him out pretty much the whole day. So that was really cool. Uh, well, my favorite part was um, encouraging the kids because there's this one kid, his name was Massimo, I think. And he just like seeing his face light up when I was telling him he was a really good pitcher just made my day. I hear they announced our baseball clinic. Yeah, they Indeed. did. The end of the game there. It was an exciting conclusion of the game. You're going to get the celebration? These guys, they dog pile at the end of the game. They won it in the last inning. So they play on Wednesday and Thursday. The ball was hit back to the pitcher, and the pitcher overthrew first, and two runs scored and ended the game. It was a big one. I've been there before. It was a big one. I felt that pain many times. This stadium definitely has a small I could see those seats flying by. Christina just had one. You still have it? I didn't know. I stood it out. Uh, We're out on the pier. In this direction, you can see the, I think that's the Verrazano Bridge. This direction, you can see the skyline. So we're opening up the elevators. We've got a number of people standing in the elevators. It's going to happen. But then he said that we started hearing these explosions outside. So we went outside again, and that was when the people started jumping. Praying for him and trying to work with him. Oh. 